I think a very big result for us. I think we didn't start very well. I think in the first 15-20 minutes uh, we considered the goal and uh, they could have added another one which they never did but slowly slowly I think Chaneza and Simon were good today but obviously because the the turf I think it's 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 slow for for the players and it's too thick so uh, I think most of the players got tired you could see the substitutions of Chaneza and Simon uh, of of Chaneza I mean so I think you dream but I think it wasn't the best of our games, but I think we, we, we did enough to, to win the game. I think after we conceded and then they didn't score another goal, I think we came more into the game and we started controlling the tempo of the game. But I feel we could have done more, which we didn't when we had possession. I think we are not using quick breaks. We are slow on the ball. So it's the things we have to work on. But again, I, I can say I think maybe it's because the, the grass was too thick. So it was difficult for the players. You could see towards the end they had cramps. But it's enough for uh, a draw and then post-match penalties, I think it's anybody's game. Today we said you are going to win us. If we go to penalties, we are going to win us the game because at training, most of our players, they take good penalties. In fact, the whole week we have been training penalties and it was a disappointment for Ngoni in the first five penalty takers to miss the, the yeah. So, I think we just needed uh, a save from the goalkeeper because we knew in terms of taking penalties, we always train almost all the time. What to change is not much, but obviously to believe because I think when we started, we didn't believe and they capitalized on that and they could have scored another goal and uh, maybe that could have been the end of the game. So maybe going forward, uh, this will give a lift to, to the boys and anything can happen. It's cup games. There is no room for for mistakes in cup games. League games, uh, obviously there are only th three results. In a cup game, football is very dynamic. In a cup game, it's two, two results. And I said it before the, uh, the start of the game. It's a good win for us, but uh, we have to keep on pushing. It's, it's not just a message, I think. Uh, I told the boys before the game, the, the last game, I think, against uh, Nchanga, we had a very good game. Nchanga had a very good game. It was a match we lost, but I told the boys at the end of the day, it's football which won. Because it's, yes, Nchanga corrected the three points, but going forward, we picked up from where we lost. And uh, today it's a win, a sweet victory. Where we are, I think we are pushing to come into the Premier League and this was a good test for us. Yesterday's game with Mwana Ankana, you can see that there is no much difference in the, uh, the Premier League and the Eden University League. But obviously in the Eden University, sometimes it's difficult obviously because of the pitches, it's difficult to, to always plan. So sometimes it becomes a... a difficult for the teams to play your own type of game so today i think we showed that we can play in the premier league so the most important thing now yes this game is gone is to look forward to the next game in the league this is it for a reminder of how much is involved in the absa cup to get more from chaniza Long throw in there. Oh, that was a scare. Oh, nearly there. But uh, too bad they don't count the goals that nearly go in. It almost doesn't count. And in that instance, it came close. But again, it's a tale of uh, Green Buffaloes not being alleged to danger. David Owino Diambo, a bit of a flick on coming through there from uh, Kigan Zulu. Starting ahead of uh, Fred uh, Silwamba in uh, Green Buffalo's goal as uh, Robert uh, Musonda's pass is uh, uh, stopped. And there's a run here. Napsu Stars with uh, Chaniza. Still being pursued by Robert Musonda. Chaniza is going. The pass is successful, surely! <laughs> and that's how you do it. And Napsu Stars. Uh, back and it's Simon and Kata who equalizes here for Napsa. The... Oh, and the run was made, and again, credit should be given to that stoppage from Kigan Zulu. When the run is made, 
by Chaniza Zulu. He's, he's looking to just put it into the setter. And Simon Kata does the need for cool, calm, and collect it. He, he doesn't even chase the ball and hits him in the stomach in the midriff, just there. And it's 1v1 with the goalkeeper. No reaction whatsoever from the likes of Chilimba Monga, the likes of uh, Gideon Schone. They don't react. It's difficult. Imano Musek. And we've been saying that that back line has a bit of a problem. Jonathan Fuller. No, you, you, you need to do that as a goalkeeper. You need to, because you can see better, you can see the whole landscape. So you do need to make some commands. But here comes the chance. Oh, that. We're so close, still. Target Siami, can he beat three men? Maybe too much, however, wins a free kick in a... Volker on his left, will he go direct? Oh, Chiro's kick is delightful, but so is the punch off by the goalkeeper, right on target by the Buffalo's uh, midfielder. Rodwell answers the questions asked by Jack. And that's what we know him for, precision and power. A minute and a half to penalty kicks. You want to stay with us on the World of Champions because after that will be the fourth quarterfinal that will take place between Red Arrows and then Quasi. Uh, the continent and uh, a lot of big Green Buffaloes fans watching up north. And I'm sure the likes of Mwila and company enjoying the game thus far. And we'll be hoping that it's wrapped up in regulation time. Jack Chilwa to punish Napsa. And it doesn't happen, but there's a second chance putting your body on the line. That's the definition of uh, what Odiyambo has just done. That's dying a little for your team. And it's semi-final. As it is, it will have to go to penalties. It's a lottery. Anything can happen. And Siami fouls. And even if he did, it doesn't matter because uh, Mr. Kafli blows for the end of the match. Looks like a repeat of 2017 when these two sides met at Coloma Stadium September 24. And it was Napsa that won 3-2 on penalties. And looks like it's a time for those popcorns. Take them out. A real great uh, football movie is about to be shown. If you blink, you miss. Napsa's Kapam uh, Musonda to take the first uh, kick. Jonathan Mfula. Time of reckoning. Napsa's uh, Musonda. Will he make it? Yes, he does. Opens the scoring. 17 in the APSA Cup. That meeting is replayed today. Will this be Green Buffalo's turn or will they suffer the same fate? So, pressure here on uh, Rodwell Mukwanya to perform. It is Jack Chirwa for Green Buffalo's. Chirwa versus uh, Mukwanya. Who comes out the better? Is it Chirwa? Is it Mukwanya? It's Chirwa. Defenders are some of, the, some of the best. He picks his spot and he's uh, taking short steps back. Jonathan Fuller in that pause. David Oweno, Old Yambo versus Mfula. What a blast from the Kenyan. Power behind that penalty kick. No chance for the goalkeeper. Talk about aggression, and he walks away. I don't think that's fair. Those penalty ticks should be taken with medical aid. That is a scorcher. Wow. Goalkeeper doesn't even move. He's got no time to be a cameraman. The flash doesn't even go on. And up next, it is Kapotwe Kayawe for Green Buffaloes. He's got Huge responsibility, and Rodwell Mukwanya stops him. And it is a miss. Rob Kapotwe Kayawe. Remember, once again. Well, lazy penalty. Really, if you're going to take it, you need to pick a spot and hit it hard and low. 
The only way Napsa have an advantage is if this goal goes in. It is Lungu. And it is. No mistake. And it's Napsa. The violinist from Titanic who starts playing that lovely song. Gideon Sichone for Green Buffaloes. Sichone versus Mukwanya. Sichone can't afford to miss. Sichone! And that's coolly taken. For the Napsa kick. Adoko versus Mfula. You know, the funny thing is if Adoko doesn't score and Green Buffalo score, they're even, Steven. If Adoko scores and Buffalo's miss, it's all over. Here's Adoko. Easy. And hopefully, their resurrection continues with the goal here. So, will there be some luck, some luck from Walia? It's uh, lucky Walia. He's got to score. He must score. If he doesn't score, it's all over. Lucky Walia. He comes up for Green Buffaloes. Yes. Keeping the hope alive. He comes on. Remember, he replaced uh, Gift Zulu, who had to be taken off because of an injury. So, the substitute with a chance to win it for Napsa Stars. Will Napsa Stars send Green Buffaloes out of the Absa Cup? No! And Buffaloes are in the game. I was about to say, he looked a tit bit nervous. Luka Muni looking like he's not sure of what he's doing. Jonathan Mfula gives a lifeline. Great stuff to Jonathan, for Jonathan Mfula. And of course, Luka Muni, dreadful penalty. Monga. Here he comes. And he makes it count. They win. If Napsa Stars miss and Green Buffalo score the next one, Buffalo's win. Simon Nkata for Napsa Stars for the penalty. He scored the equalizer. Can he score now? Nkata for Napsa. Oh, lucky him. It goes in. Unlucky for Green Buffaloes. By John. This is John Kasam. It will, if he doesn't score, then it's over. Kasamu for Green Buffaloes. Kasamu versus Rodwell Mukwanya. Sudden death. It's the Absa Cup. Here comes Kosamu! And it's in. So, more pressure. And Luka Banda makes no mistake for Napsa Stars. Well, Jonathan is a late bloomer. He looks a little bit nervous. Robin, for all his skills, can he get and make this count? Yes, he does. I would not want to... For the hit, Thomas Banda. Can he make it happen? Yes, he does. Seven six, Napsa Stars in the lead. Or we'll make that six seven, as it reads on your screen. Joseph Lungu for Green. Is it Emmanuel Moseka? Beg your pardon. For Green Buffaloes, Moseka. Can you make it count? No, and Napsa Stars. Take Green Buffaloes again out of the Absa Cup. They did it in 2017, beat Buffaloes 3-2 on penalties after 1-1. And the same has happened today. Winning 7-6.
and you can feel sorry for the men in uniform. Musaka failing to make it count, but the heroics going to Rodvor Mukwanya. My oh my. Oh, what a sad moment it is for the soldiers. Obviously, a happy one for the social security team. So much pressure, Buka. Certainly so much pressure. We did say it earlier on that uh, it's the lottery of penalties. Emmanuel Mseka doesn't sell the dummy, but the hero is Rodrigo Mkanya. And he did say, score your goals. I will do what I need to do. And admittedly so, he saved two penalties. And boy, oh boy, the team from the Edwin University sends the first team to qualify for the APSA. Out of the APSA come. I did say earlier on that uh, Buffaloes do not like penalties. And Napsa continue to taunt the defense side. So Napsa, Napsa continue. They qualify to the semifinals. Green Buffaloes once again at the hands of Napsa are denied as happened in 2017 when Napsa beat them 3-2 on penalties.